Thank you for joining me, guys. My name is Yeriman. Uh, I'm representing King's Connect Ministry here. Um, I'd, like us, I'd like to talk to us about what we had envisioned concerning the processes that we have in this particular ministry. So one of the, the main things that I'll be communicating today will be dubbed deep to deep. So deep to deep um, <coughs> was birthed in 2017 where in light of the processes that we have been engaging in, in running high school missions, in running conferences, in running general gatherings that will as well glorify God in the end, we the Lord placed in our hearts to <coughs> acquire our own equipment to facilitate these particular programs that we have. Concerning um, the project Deep to Deep, it was first of all an experience in the heart of God, uh, an experience or a walk into the heart of God, because truly this was something that was His intent for us. It wasn't simply just about acquiring sound, it wasn't about having our own sound as a ministry, it wasn't about the budget, it wasn't about the many um, external factors that would have to go into um, the acquiring of sound. It was simply about the experience or the walk into the knowledge of God that we were coming into. Maybe for those who are wondering why, why, why was the project called Deep to Deep, we would have said something like uh, getting sound, we would have said something as fancy as um, yeah, raising money for a project. But uh, now Psalms 42 7 says, Deep calls unto deep at the noise of thy water spouts. All thy waves and all and thy billows are gone over me. And how that verse starts just to be able to understand the context. Psalms 42 verse 1 says, As the deer pants after the water, so my soul pants after you, O my God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before him? So verse 7 is just a, a desire. It's just a, an expression of God himself calling us to the more that is in him. Um, it was clear in my heart that God wanted us to come into an intimate and, you know, just acquaintance of who he is as our God. Because the invitation of God is never to things in the natural, it's always to a particular aspect of him that he's looking for us to see. So even as we set out on this journey, um, there was such a clear expectation in my heart, what I'm looking to see, how this process will unfold, even the different activities and the different um, areas where we're going to facilitate this particular project, I was clear that God wants us to know him. How we get to inherit the promises of God is by faith. Um, I think it's Hebrews chapter 6 verse 12 that says, um, by faith, through faith and patience, we inherit the promises of God. So uh, I feel like once God has made a promise, once God has declared a promise of our people, or individually, then uh, the next thing is to look to respond by faith. Um, and one of the other things we get, one of the aspects of faith that we get to see is also the aspect of works, because James says faith without works is dead. So now, um, in response to this promise that God has given, uh, now the question was, how am I supposed to respond in faith? Yes, it's, it's a hard thing. Yes, it's a spiritual thing we are coming into. But then um, my faith ought to have um, action that uh, uh, is supposed to not validate my faith, but express the faith that I have come into. Yeah, so uh, I remember how that looked like for me was um, I think there, there, there were different, uh, when we started off, there are different partnership levels. So... Uh, it's those things where you just have conversation with God. Um, how much am I supposed to give? Uh, at that point in time is when you're thinking, hey, I'm, I'm still in school. So you, you want to think in light of the allowances that you usually get uh, after having eaten lunch and removed transport and what you want to see. Oh, this is how much I'm remaining with. But then God just takes you higher and you can see that I, I'm not looking to ask you from um, what you have in your pocket as it is what you have grown to believe. Yeah, so I remember it was so interesting because um, even the specific amount that I believe I started with, 
it was those things where I was not sure of myself I would have been able to uh, give. But then because um, of this truth, of this belief that was in my heart, um, I think what usually, uh, what the Bible says, it's in Hebrews chapter 11, um, it speaks about how uh, after Sarah judged God faithful, she received strength to conceive. And I feel like once you have seen something in God, then it of itself gives you another capacity to also be able to do things that previously was not possible. We had the people who pledged at the 10,000 mark, at the 5,000 mark, at the 1,000 mark, and I believe we also had the overflow, those ones who were not in any of those categories. Um, as we were talking and as we were engaging in the process, um, there are three things I believe that I was clear about, and that includes um, the aspect of Christ being revealed. Um, we also had just a confidence of who God is and Him as a faithful Father. So in the whole process, there was a baseline of expectation that I'll know God, though the evidence of you know, just receiving the sound is something that I was looking forward to and expecting, but primarily as expectation in my heart, I really just wanted to know God better. Yes. Yeah. Um, in 2019, um, we started with the Plan 50, which was that everyone gave 50 bob a day. Um, so 50 bob a day from about a thousand people, um, the math came about in such that we have uh, 250 at the end of the week and a million at the end of the month. Um, so that going on for three months, we'd have the requisite amount. Um, again, this wasn't anything that we were compulsing anyone to do because we don't compulse people into giving. Uh, we don't coerce people into giving. It's something that you do off of your walk with God and off of the revelation that you have uh, concerning the giving of God and the grace of God um, in that area. So we invited people uh, who had identified with this as part of uh, the good work that God would have them handle in this particular time to pledge off of their faith. Um, we, we walked with people, we had people declare um, their personal faith statements concerning the same, what they were believing um, God to do um, off of what he had said. So in as much as uh, we were keenly tracking uh, just the finances aspect of it and even as we were, we were looking to see uh, what we can acquire and how we can do what we need to do. Um, there was a huge faith aspect to it, just in terms of people being keen concerning that which God was saying, concerning that which God was doing, uh, just remaining stayed, uh, allowing yourself to stand and just believing in the promises of God until you see them come to pass. Yeah, uh, I was just reading my, my faith statements from last year and then I said something about the confidence of God and the increase of God. Uh, so that was just a huge part of, of what it what it looked like, uh, what the process looked like for the community, what the process looked like for the house. Able to get the blanket and we're able to get drums. The drums are actually branded kings, so that is that's just a testimony, and that's just something to give things about. That's something to be completely joyous about. Um, Later on in this year, um, we received a call from a friend of the ministry, um, and he, he called us in to receive sound for ourselves. So, of all the working of God in his heart, he sowed sound into our house, and now we also have additional sound as part of our own. Again, I don't want to give this information to the viewers, so Davy, you can tell us what we got. <laughs> uh, two subwoofers. Two, two equalizers. For those who don't know, you can Google this information because it's a lot of information. Yeah, um, <coughs> one crossover, uh, drum mics. That's a that's a big up on that. Um, a twenty-four channel mixing console. Uh, what else? And a bass amplifier. So I can definitely say that it wasn't an easy journey all through, but God was faithful. Um, he was holding our hearts together. And as we can see, we are standing in the victory that he has availed for us. God has been faithful, God has been true, and God has not failed, and he has not disappointed us. Um, like I said, it isn't just about the acquisition of sound. It isn't just mm -hmm. about adding to our natural assets. Um, it's about that which we've walked into as the knowledge of God. So um, 
as we move on, the expectation of my heart is that as we continue to submit to the Lordship of Christ, as we continue to engage in this our reality, because honestly, at some point in the process, I thought about it, um, of what good, of what profit would it be if we give up? So we'd rather just stay in faith because at least there's one certainty, and that is that this reality truly avails. So the expectation of my heart is that moving forward into different projects, into conferences, into any other contextual engagement that God calls us to, is that we have a confident expectation solely and particularly on who he is. Because in this picture, he's the only one who never changes. Um, his nature is unrivaled as I said before and again he will always come through just by virtue of the fact we are sons of God um, that was something that can I say in our own strength we couldn't have done even off of self exertion even off of self assertion it wasn't something we could have accomplished it is only something that you can receive off of the goodness and the fatherhood of God um, and this is something that you can say Great are your works, O Lord, my soul knows them too well. Um, marvel your doings are marvelous in your eyes. Thank you, God. You see, it's something that we can fully accredit and give glory to God as something that He has done. Enough of seeing what is the doing of the Lord. We see that truly it is His intent um, that we that it, that we have. It is His intent um, that we walk in that which is prepared. It is His intent that we are fully facilitated. Um, and enabled to walk out and fulfill the work. Yeah, we are always prepared for yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we prepared to different questions and then there was, you know, <laughs> other things that <laughs> Um, he was slain in the spirit because of the, you know, realization Al that the sound has manifested. Al How intense <laughs> was this interview? <laughs> <laughs> you can't even. <laughs>